say that no matter if the guitar is good or bad, you cannot make two same. Sometimes friends say, I want one like this, and yeah, the, maybe the model is most same, very similar, but really if you go inside the personality of each instrument, and how it sounds in different songs of the fretboard, etc., the feel it has, and even if Two guitars are made by the same person at the same moment with the same kind of woods, etc. Same measurements, it will come two different guitars somehow. The most similar, you know, like twins also, they are almost identical. Two guys, twins, but some others are less similar, but even the most similar ones, yeah, they have many characteristics almost identical, but still there are two. So therefore, I have seen twin guitars sometimes, but it's not possible to, to have 100% same. I don't know why, this is part of the randomity, I guess, on this guitar making business, which is a very... Uh, how could we say... Yeah, it's just like... like roulette, playing roulette or something, uh, gambling game, it, you never come but it will roll the dice, you never know how it will come. Even greatest luthiers told me, they planned to make this guitar like this, like this, like this, and then it came another thing, which maybe is great also, but it's very difficult to standardize this thing. In electric guitars, not so difficult, but here, in nylon string guitar, and especially we mean the high-end instruments like in AG and I have seen in this channel I played at least 400 of these guitars so I have experience, I've seen many and there are not two same so very similar there are one to the other but many times happen that two guitars are similar and were not on purpose done that way so this is very special one thing that you planned as a luthier, you plan one thing and then it comes another. And, and then the other thing is that it's not possible to duplicate aesthetically, right? because I have seen also many copies. At least in the last four, three, four years here in Spain, I see many, two or three or five copies of AD. Some made bad, some made well, like that, but copies of the old. And to copy something as an, as an, as an art object, that is possible, but, but just aesthetically. And even that could not be done exactly, because if you go and see the small, uh, the small dots, the, the, the knots that the wood has in certain place, for instance, I, have, I know here that this guitar close to the, to the third string has one, one knot here of the wood. And then therefore, now how do you copy that with, with another piece of maple? It's not possible. So same like, just like the, the lines of, it, of the skin of a tiger, they are not too same, it's just like a digital fingerprint, so therefore, that's the beauty, and I guess this is one of the reasons why people like to collect guitars, because they are all different. And this is the beauty of guitar and the mystery, actually, of this instrument, because you plan it one way, come another, you try to duplicate it, and it does not come. And then sometimes, without trying to duplicate, in different woods and even sometimes different models came to similar position and that, you know, this guitar is similar to that or like this. So it's a, a, a very entertaining thing. 
Therefore, uh, yeah, these are unique pieces, just like people is individually unique one and cannot be duplicated. Bueno, el loco que descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí. Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.